So today, my little boy turned one. And uh, I have a lot of thoughts about that and uh, my emotions and how I feel and everything. And I figured I would share that in this video. Um, I've had this, some footage from Deegan's birth, but that was before we started to daily vlog. And um, I would really like to, I really wanted to put it together in a video. So I figured that there's no time but his first birthday to commemorate his birth. And, uh, and to review some of that footage and my thoughts and everything. Two weeks and uh, so and I was overdue two weeks and um, it, it wasn't easy because my doctor was going out of town and when I was 40 weeks along I went in and he kind of convinced me to go in and try to induce labor and it was it was real challenging. The they gave me this hormones to um, help uh, labor because I was not close whatsoever. I wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. We just weren't ready, and um, it was very uncomfortable and very exhausting. And we didn't get anywhere after the 12 hours of this medicine. Um, they checked on me and I just wasn't there and the doctor was just kind of not so sure and everything and they said, what do you want to do? Do you want to try Pitocin? you want me to break your water and stuff? And I was like, well, could I go home? And said, well, yeah, you can go home because your water's not broke, your cervix isn't open, you haven't had Pitocin, but if any of those things happen, you can't go home. And uh, the doctor left, and they gave me some time to kind of rest and and uh, to, to think about it. And um, I prayed, and I felt like I had this really strong feeling that Dean was not ready. He he really wasn't ready to come, and um, so we went home. And it was kind of like frustrating a little bit kind of thing like you know he's not here yet and stuff and I had a little anxiety because it was like I wanted my baby here but I knew he was safe and he was fine and so my doctor went on to vacation and he had it set up so I would go on to uh, the hospital and have him checked and everything and and he said I'm gonna I'll be back in two weeks and if you're still there we're you're going to the hospital and you're having this baby and uh, so that's what happened. I was still there when he came back and uh, 
went to the hospital and did the whole hormone thing again and and uh, it was a really long process. He was supposed to be born on the 8th. I mean, who is supposed to be born on whatever day babies make up their own birthdays, as I've learned to com come to learn. But he was, he was little though. He was only seven pounds. And uh, he was really tall though. He was like 21 and a half inches long. And he was just, he was just arms and legs, as you can see in the video and the pictures I'll show. But he was just arms and legs, and I just, I just felt so blessed. I just remember that moment that he was there. Well, he's my baby boy. And I was just so happy to have him, that he was safe and he was healthy and everything was fine. Ask, 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 good boy. person. I, I owe so much to being a parent and I owe so much to Deegan for teaching me so much. I've learned so much patience and tolerance and uh, he's really opened my eyes and I feel like I understand the world a lot better and I feel like the understanding to others I have is much greater, and uh, it's kind of this little boy that, that needs me every day. And uh, we're just so lucky that he came when he did, and in his own time. And that was just so important that he was he was ready when he was ready. And uh, I I'm just so lucky, and I'm just so excited that this little this little baby who's now growing up and walking and learning to walk and exploring and everything is mine and uh, and Jeff's and that we get to be his parents huh we're just so lucky but I just wanted to share a little bit of of our birth story and kind of how things went and and uh, I'm just so grateful for the blessings I have. I remember the first time I, I breastfed him right after he was born and he nursed, he suckled for a half an hour and he was just wonderful from the start. He taught me how to feed him and uh, 
and it's been that way ever since and it's we've really had this communication that he lets me know what he needs and uh so blessed to be able to to help him and to meet his needs and to be his mother but he's our little boy and uh, i'm just so grateful that he came when he did and we're so happy and just much better because of it and uh, i feel like i owe so much to that opportunity and i look back at the birth of Deegan and Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at right there. Hi. What were you doing? You go night night? Say goodnight. Oh no. Oh no.